up everyone, back here for another video. So if this is your first time on the channel, my name is Alex Temes. I've been trading for 10 and a half years and I've made over $8 million trading and we'll pop up my broker statements on the screen right now so you guys can see. So what I'm gonna be talking about today is the number one thing that's gonna make you a ton of money in 2024 trading in the market, right? So the big thing that I wanna kind of first go over is the interest rates and inflation, right? If you've been living under a rock, you must have missed that interest rates have shot up to the highest amount and the fastest amount in the last couple decades, right? And what does this mean for the market? What does this mean for the average consumer? What does this mean for everything? Number one is if you wanna buy a house, now all of a sudden your mortgage rate that, you know, two years ago was 2% is now nearly 8%, right? It costs a ton of a lot more money to purchase a house, which means that people are unable to borrow the amount of money that they need, right? Because there's certain debt to income ratios, et cetera. Now, what does this mean for the stock market? Well, when the Federal Reserve started first raising interest rates, the stock market plummeted. Why? It's because when the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, that means that government bonds, treasury bonds, are now giving more risk-free return, right? So the whole thing is back, I don't know, for the last 10, 15 years, treasury bills were giving 0.2% return, right? So it made no sense to put your money in treasury bills a lot of people put their money in stocks, crypto, et cetera, other avenues of investing, which cause the markets to just spike up and spike up and spike up, right? But when the Federal Reserve starts raising interest rates, now all of a sudden, those bonds that were paying, you know, 0.25% are now paying 2%, 3%, 4%, and even 5% guaranteed income. So if you buy a government bond today, you will make 5% guaranteed return so long as the United States government doesn't get destroyed, right? It is 99.9999% secure. So what does that mean? That means that all these big wig investors, all these hedge fund billionaires, all these people like Warren Buffett sell off their stocks, their risk assets to take that money and put it into treasury bills because why would you not sell off your stocks and put it into treasuries when treasuries are guaranteeing you 5%, right? And these people have hundreds of billions of dollars. So 5% on hundreds of billions of dollars is like a hundred million dollars in guaranteed income every single year for the next 30 years, right? You don't have to worry about the volatility of the stock market. You don't need to know about what Elon is doing or what Tim Cook is doing. And I actually made a video on this a few weeks ago explaining that Warren Buffett sold his Apple position, right? He reduced his Apple position to buy more government bonds. Now, Warren Buffett owns more government bonds than anyone in the world, right? Because he's getting a guaranteed 5% income. So what that causes is when the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, it takes assets like stocks down and bonds up because you don't want to risk your money in the stock market when you have a guaranteed income with bonds. And the problem is bonds never paid a 5% interest rate 20 years. So no one was investing in bonds. Now, what is going on and what does this mean? And what's the one thing that's gonna change your trading starting as soon as September? If you heard Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell came out and said, it is time for a policy change. So what that means is it's now time for them to start dropping interest rates. Why is this so important for you, right? It's because the same way that when the Federal Reserve raised interest rates, stocks went down and bonds went up. What do you think is gonna happen when they start to drop interest rates? Bonds are gonna go down and stocks are gonna go up. Now that interest rates are coming down, people like us are gonna have more money to be able to buy things. How many of you guys have been feeling strapped for the last couple of years because of inflation? Grocery prices are through the roof. Everything is just absolutely insane. But now the Federal Reserve has signaled a near 90% confirmation that September is gonna be the first rate cut, right? And they plan on doing subsequent rate cuts till the end of the year and even more starting next year. So this is also especially important for small cap companies, the stocks that we trade every single day, right? It's because when the Federal Reserve starts dropping interest rates, these small cap companies now have the ability to raise money 
and to do offerings at a discounted rate, right? Now they're gonna be able to raise money for cheaper, which allows them to continue to explode, go operations, go higher, et cetera, et cetera. It's also gonna allow a lot of companies, whether it be like, you know, Tesla, uh, automobile companies and mortgage companies to start going higher as well. Because as you know, real estate has been in a bear market ever since the Fed started raising interest rates. So as soon as the Federal Reserve starts dropping interest rates, home prices are gonna start shooting up because now there's gonna be elevated demand. Home prices have stayed steady, if not gone down, because the interest rate is so high that there's not enough competition to drive the price up. You know, what drives the price up of home prices is bidding wars, competition. There's 10 people that want the same house and they just bid, 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 bid higher until it gets there. But now with interest rates being low, that's not happening. So in my opinion, a lot of automobile companies that are dependent on interest rates for those monthly payments, a lot of home companies, uh, whether it be residential, whether it be commercial, are all going to go crazy. You saw RDFN, Redfin already going nuts. The single most important thing for you to understand is now in September, before the Federal Reserve cuts rates, there should be an explosive move to the upside in all the markets, all the indexes, automobiles, real estate, everything. And then when the Federal Reserve does cut interest rates, and that might trigger a potential sell the new setup, right? So for all of us people that are smart money, smart money, smart money, that know that you buy the rumor and you sell the news, well, what's gonna happen is the moment the Federal Reserve cuts interest rates, mainstream media is gonna pump that the Federal Reserve cut rates and all the dumb money is gonna enter the market. And what's gonna happen is hedge funds and institutions are just gonna dump into that dumb money, right? You have to understand the scenario of buy the rumor and sell the news. So in my opinion, a lot of these stocks are going to start running up in anticipation of that first rate cut in September. And then as soon as the Federal Reserve cuts, that is when things might start to reverse. If you made it this far in the video, then you understand the basic concepts of trading. You're understanding what's going on with treasury bills. So you probably have about, I don't know, a few weeks left to lock in a 5% treasury bill, right? Because as soon as the Federal Reserve starts cutting rates, then that uh, treasury bill is gonna be from worth 5% to 4.5% to 4% to 3% to 2% to 1%. And all of a sudden, it now no longer makes sense to have treasury bills, it now makes sense to have stocks. So you guys need to understand the repercussions of what a Federal Reserve interest rate cut will do. When the Federal Reserve had rates at zero in the pandemic times, everything shot up. Now, I don't think that uh, rates are ever gonna get to zero. We're kind of around like four or 5% right now. I think it's probably gonna stabilize around two or two and a half percent to combat the 3% inflation, right? Because if you keep uh, interest rates at 3% and inflation's at 3%, they cancel each other out. So what was happening before is, you know, inflation was like 11% at the peak and interest rates were at like three, 4%, so they were still a net negative. So I wanna keep these videos short and sweet, kind of talking about big picture topics in the market. Uh, if this makes sense to you guys, leave a comment, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what type of content you wanna see from me. I have live trading videos that I'm posting over here. I'll have a button to subscribe to the channel that I'll post here, and I'll have some more videos here. But aside from that, thanks everyone for watching. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'm the guy that responds to the comments. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.